really welcome to this episode and um, anyway uh, we were looking at statistics and uh, kind of uh, find out if a system is down or for example if there is a problem with a particular server especially if you run virtualization like we do um, so we came across this open source application stat ping and I'm going to install it on my Proxmox on a demo server to see if is what we require. So, you know, just, you know, just have a look while I'm doing it and uh, I'm going to show you the way I do it. And, and then, um, you know, it's up to you if you want to use it for your uh, environment, for your home, home lab, if you have a server, for example. But again, we're going to evaluate the app and see if it's exactly what we want for the type of application we need. Anyway, without any delay, um, I was going through the page here on GitHub. Again, all the information in the description below. And it looks good. I mean, I could run it on, uh, on Docker by just running this line of code. Uh, perhaps this is what I'm going to do, but also what I did, I went through the entire code. And if I go to, let's have a, have a look here. It's a YAML file, but I think it was another one here. Was this one here? Here we go, Do Docker Compose. And I mean, I can actually use this one here, right? And if I use this one here, let me copy this. Let me go over here. Let me go to Stacks. Let me add a stack. Let me paste the code and let me type a name. There we go. I might want to change the actual port if it's already been used. On this occasion here is not being used, but again, I'm going to change it anyway because I think I'm using it on a I'm not sure if he's on uh, DDNS here. I mean, I'm not sure. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave it for now like that, just in case I'll re reinstall it if uh, there is a problem um, when I install other, up, you know, other containers, okay? So that's the way I do it. You might have a problem with the actual version, but otherwise, if I don't get any error, as I don't want to get too much Wasted too much time. Where are we now? Um, yeah, we're here actually. Yeah. So yeah, if I got any problem, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna copy this Docker Compose line and you know run it in that way. Okay. Let's have a look how we do it. So we do it here, and let's say we're gonna go and deploy the stack. We might have a problem with the version two point three. is downloading the developer uh, development uh, version, not the stable or the final, right? Or the latest. Uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter as we are only evaluating this. So it looks like that installed without any issue and it's already starting up here. Let me close this one here. Let's have a look here what's happening. So what I've done here, I really, I didn't do much of, of changes inside the file. Let me have a go back, you know, let me have a look again. Yeah, it's a lot of modification you can do here, really. Uh, but again, uh, I'm leaving as it is, just because I want to, just to try out, really. Nothing more, nothing less. Now it looks like a successful response again, as well again now. So it looks, everything looks Good. Let's go on the port 8080 and let's have a look. And now here we go. We got the uh, app up and running. Now again, this is online. This is offline. Um, again, I don't know much about this app, so we're going to explore a little bit more with you and, and see how it works. So this is 
I presume that this is Google DNS, for example, JSON, GitHub. So the one says not online. Let's have a look here. This is offline. Uh, it's been Right. So technically, I don't see any menu. Let's have a look here. Let me do this a second. Do we have anything to add things? All right. That's offline. Eh? As you know, we also look in, uh, again, I've done it before, I installed it, I think, a couple of times. Uh, Uptime Kuma. I think Uptime Kuma is really good for what we want. But we want something as simple as, you know, a little bit simpler than Uptime Kuma. Not that Uptime Kuma is not simple. It's because some of, you know, clients, perhaps, they're not that savvy on technology and they might find a problem. We want something that we can actually install it and just look at rather than, you know, play around with settings. Uh, but yeah, you can find Uptime Kuma somewhere here, right? Or just search. There we go, Uptime Kuma, right? On the top. Um, so here we go, we're here, and I don't see anywhere where I can actually add or modify. It might be there, but I can't find it. All right, so I want to have a look a little bit on the page. So there we go. We can actually log in to the dashboard. I think what you've got to do is uh, forward slash login. And I think the default is admin admin. There we go. Let's go. Okay. So yes, the first thing you want to do, of course, is change your password. So we are on a dashboard. This is what we have already. I presume you can actually delete those things. Or we want to call it widgets. Services. Here we go. Yeah, we can actually change things. That is pretty good. And we can actually create the new services. Perfect. Perfect. We can create groups, groups names. And this is what we actually wanted to create new users. And we can actually make us administrators or normal users. That's what we want. Normal users. And I think it looks okay now that I got the you know, the hang of it. I've been playing around even though I paused the video and looked a little bit around. I just want to make sure that, you know, what I was saying is not incorrect. Uh, you can do normal. That's good. Just in case you want to change it. CSS, authentications, internal login. You can have a GitHub, Google settings, Slack, custom. Perfect. Configurations here. We can import data, I presume. Import and export. So, notifiers. That's good. As uptime camera, you can actually attach to your Discord as well. And it's something we are looking into it as well. Pretty good. Telegram, SMTP for emails. Again, normal emails, mobile phones. That's a good thing that you can actually have a app that you can actually install from the Google App Store or the app, uh, Apple App Store, okay? Did I say Google App Store? Yes, App Store, not Apple App Store. Kind of confusing, but yeah, you understand what I'm talking about. We got variables here. It looks pretty good. And also we got the logs. Right. 
So yeah, that's it. I mean, I if I think it's a nice little application if you want to ping your services, your server, uh, a, a specific email or a specific email, specific port, for example. I think this is a nice application. So the people, you know, the actual clients or yours, you can actually go on a page and have a look at which services are on or online or offline, for example. And this is pretty neat, you know, piece of uh, application. Again, at the bottom here, you got dashboard. I wonder if you got the same thing and I didn't see it at the end of the page. Let's have a look. Let's go back on the main page here. There we go, yes, dashboard, and I didn't even see that. I had to go and search for it. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I mean, great. So anyway, guys, I hope you're going to use this. And if you like this kind of videos, let me know. Uh, again, we will, you know, in the future, we're going to add some services where you can have your own um, virtual server, dedicated server, or even a collocated server, mainly will be based in the South Wales, uh, United Kingdom. If you're interested in any of these uh, services, leave a comment. Uh, well, you can't leave a comment anymore. That's disabled. Just go on the about page of the of the channel and uh, let me have a look here and just send you know notifications or whatever or go on twitter send me for example a message for that if you wanted to but yes you can just contact me or you go to open source channel still on that one still on um, my server cloud maybe the end of next month end of march maybe you know beginning of april i don't know yet but everything is going in that, that particular way um, we are not you know open source uh, open source anymore we are my server cloud so anyway thanks guys and i'll see you next time